couple of weeks ago, while we were still in the year of 2019, I uploaded a video titled, How I Would Introduce Miles Morales into the MCU. And well, there was actually a time where before Peter Parker was in the MCU, and people were fig figuring out ways to tie in the Amazing Spider-Man to the MCU. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. This was way back in 2012. The first Avengers movie was still fresh. Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man debut was still fresh, which makes it a huge difference as to how to introduce Spider-Man into the MCU in 2016, just in time to get drafted into a civil war. At this time, there's only one person outside of the Amazing Spider universe who could actually have known of Peter Parker's existence and bring him in. In fact, he had a deleted scene in Iron Man where he mentions Peter Parker's radioactive spider bite when first mentioning a quote-unquote much bigger universe to Tony Stark himself. You guessed it, Nick Fury. Now, I know that scene isn't canon and doesn't confirm anything on Nick Fury's behalf, and it was pretty much unusable due to a rights issue to those characters. However, with all things considered, Nick Fury is still the most realistic way this could have been done. Nick Fury is a character that knows everything. If we fast forward to Civil War, we know that Peter Parker has been Spidey for only a couple months, not four years after 2012. So back to that year, there's only been a very small time span of the events, and Tony Stark couldn't realistically have had him under his radar just yet. What I'm getting at is, while Nick Fury was doing his own thing during the Battle of, during the Battle of New York, and with Tony Stark being involved in that battle, Nick Fury would have been more likely to be aware of Parker defeating the Lizard and see him as a new candidate for a wider team that is introduced at the end of Age of Ultron. Basically, Nick Fury knows of him after the Amazing Spider-Man, makes first contact with him after months have gone by in the year 2014. The reason why I say months is because Nick Fury would, would have known of the loved one that he lost at the end of Demon Spider-Man 2 and would delay his communication until Parker's had the right time to cool off and get back into the game. Specifically, right before Spider-Man fights Rhino. Several months before that, following into the next year, Spider-Man would be a new relevant character in Avengers Age of Ultron and would fight alongside Scarlet Witch. Quicksilver, and Vision when they're all on the same page and up against Ultron. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'm curious as to what you guys would come up with as a way to bring Andrew Garfield's spot into the MCU. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. One like equals an extra hour of sleep because I literally started this work on this to midnight before my usual upload time. See you guys all again next time. Goodbye.